Hi there, this is Chris from Paracord Planet. We're uh, going to try another bracelet today. This is going to be the Snake Belly Bracelet. Um, using a 3 8 inch buckle uh, in a tan. I've got two pieces of cord here, two different colors. Each one is about six and a half feet long. Uh, I'm gonna tailor this bracelet to the, my wrist size, which is uh, a little over eight. Um, I've got a fit, obviously. Need to have a fit, don't really need to, but I use one, a lighter and a scissors to cut it at the end. So uh, with further ado, um, let's begin. The uh, bracelet itself is a little different. Um, I'm normally used to using two different colors that you weld together uh, to make a two color bracelet. This one, however, just uses uh, two separate colors and you weave the other color into uh, the bracelet itself. So what you do, first off, find the middle of your paracord, um, find your ends. Uh, I bent these so I know where they're at. You're going to take the buckle, uh, doesn't really matter which, uh, which side you want to start on. You're going to stick the bent part through the buckle. There we go. So now we got it through. And uh, I've seen a lot of people that just pull the rope through the bottom here. Uh, I find it a lot easier that if I just loop it around the top and pull it, it's done and I don't have to move cord around all over the place and knock stuff over, which I normally do. So. There we go, uh, that's the start of it. Uh, what you're gonna do then is you're going to find the other end of it. You're gonna keep them together so you don't uh, cross the strands when you put it through the other side. Um, if you do that, uh, it's a little bit harder on these, these small uh, buckles, but it can be done. Uh, so what you do is you find the ends, you put it through the bottom, and you bring it all the way through till you find the length that you're looking for and well look at that I already put it on the wrong side but if you squish them together you can move them around so another little hint for you it does work <clears throat> the bracelet itself again I'm making about a seven seven and a half inch uh, I'm sorry eight inch eight and a half inch bracelet um, you can do that actually by taking your handy dandy ruler, which I told you, uh, didn't tell you that we actually have, but you can have one. Uh, you measure it from the end of the bracelet all the way to the end to where the buckle actually meets. And that is about right. So that's what we're looking for. I will bend those over a little bit just so I know where the, the start of it is. I'll keep these strands separated. So this is what we're looking at. And we shall begin. I'm actually going to make this one a little bit shorter because this one's not for me. And we will begin the weave. First off, <clears throat> you have one on each side. All I'm going to do is I'm going to make a loop with this over the, the right hand side. I'm going to pull the cord through the back while keeping the loop obviously. I'm going to take this strand after it's gone through the center of these two and I'm going to pull it up through the top of this. snug it up here at the top. Doesn't have to be real snug, you'll get it on the next pass anyway, so it's all good. Same way with this side, um, it's a little bit different because it's on the other side. Uh, I always get this backwards, um, but it is actually the same thing. You make a loop, you pull it through this in the center, and then up through the other side. Hold on to it, snug it up a bit. Doesn't have to be perfect because again you'll, you'll tighten it in this spot as well. Move them up to the top, snug them down. Don't have to pull it too tight. Uh, it'll be plenty tight when you get the weave down. So. so you should have something that looks a lot like this. Got kind of a space there in the middle that you can see. That's what happens. Okay, this part of it is um, the second part of the weave. You actually take the right hand side and you go across 
and the left hand side goes over the top of that to make an X. So you've got that little X at the top. See that right there, a little X. And that's what we're looking for. Pull the braids across, the ropes so they're on the appropriate side. And that is actually your first stitch. Your first weave, I should say. <clears throat> this is where we're going to put in the second color. Um, the second color isn't actually attached to anything. You again want to find the very middle of it. Um, again, I found mine already and I had bent it where I uh, needed to do this at. Uh, I'm using a dark blue with this. So I thought it would look actually kind of neat. You put it behind both of these, pull it to its appropriate side, so you've got two on each side. Yeah, this is where it gets difficult, um, but don't be uh, afraid of it, it's actually not too bad. Um, it's a little bit more work, but once you get the first couple stitches, it actually goes pretty quick and you get the hang of it. So you start it off the same way. You've got the blue on the outside of the ones you just did. Um, it's going to make a loop. It's going down through the center. And up through the top. Up through the bottom, actually. And you're going to pull it tight. And remember, it's going over both of those. Same thing with this side. You make a loop. Pull it through through the bottom and that is the start of the new color it's a little bit different uh, not using a jig for this uh, a jig might make it a little bit more stable for you I just find that using straight up my hands is a lot easier for me so that's what I use now you just make the same thing from the right hand side you make the cross you go over, and you do the same thing with this side, and then you go over. So these should line up on the inside of the other color. See now how it's switched? Now the camouflage colors on the outside and the blues on the inside, same with this side. What you're going to do after that cross, just like you did the other way, is you're going to take that camouflage, you're going to make that same loop again, down through the middle, up through the bottom, tighten it up doesn't again have to be too tight, you'll catch it in the next loop. Let it hang there. You can do the same with the other side. You make the loop through the middle. Go through. Out from the bottom. So, you can push them up a little bit if you want. Again, it doesn't have to be, uh, it's not like a cobra bracelet where you have to pull them so tight that uh, your hands hurt afterwards. So that's what you should be looking at. Now again, from the right hand side, you cross over and underneath, see how it lays flat underneath that blue one? And then from the left hand side, other way. So there's where your, your weave looks. And now to tighten this one, you just pull on the blue one a little bit, a little bit. Tightens up that entire top part and you're good to go. So this is where we sit. Now we got two sections done. Then you just keep going. Blue side this time, down the middle, up through the bottom, pull it 
that's not. Same thing with this side. Through the middle. Pull it snug. And you should see this pattern repeating over and over again, so uh, it'll come easier. Just give yourself some time. I know the first time I tried this one I gave up with the four strands. It seemed like it was going to be way more difficult than I wanted to try. But it really, uh, once you have done it a couple times, it actually takes on a, a form that you can see like this now. Uh, it gets a lot easier. So keep up with it. Uh, if you need to walk away from it, walk away from it. It's not too bad though, so you should be good. What do we do from this point? Yep, cross over, right hand side, pull it down, left hand side, pull it down, and we can tighten up that one by pulling on the camouflage side, and nice and symmetrical. Where this one's a little puffy, we'll change that when we get to the next one. So. There's your cross. And the cord ends up on the inside of the color that you're going to do next. So, same thing. This side, through the middle, from the top, and from the bottom, you pull it through. It's easy to correct uh, if you mistake it one side for the other. Um, you do want to keep doing the same. Um, but you can always go back and take it apart a little bit. Uh, it doesn't uh, doesn't mean you have to start from scratch. So again, through the middle, from the bottom, pull it snug. Should look like that. You can move these over a little bit so they. Fold at the sides a little bit better. We'll see it taking shape. Now across from the right. And across from the left. Moving down their appropriate sides. And now I can pull the blue one, make it a little tighter, snug it up a bit. You do have to hold on to it with your fingers. Uh, letting it go will, uh, won't do a whole lot if it's tight, but if it's loose, it's an easy way to lose where you're where you're sitting. So, but there you go. That's where we've gotten so far, and that's what uh, what we're gonna do to the end here. Um, I will cut right now, and I will bring you back when I'm finishing it up the very bottom of it. Okay, so I'm back. Here you go. Here's what the the weave looks like, uh, turned out pretty well, pretty straight. And I ended it with just a little bit to go. You can see there's just uh, enough room for, I could probably do one more if I needed to, but um, it's going to be really tight. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is take the fin, and since it ends on blue here, I'm going to take the end of my blue, I'm going to put my fin. You might be able to with the fish you have, but these are, I like this one, it's a little smaller. And I will put it down through the center there. Pull it through. It's a good place to end it and make sure it's not twisted. And I will do the same with the other side. Sometimes I can get these on here sideways. I like that, that's enough. Put it down that same hole. Oh, lucked out there. So there you go, there's the end of the blues. <clears throat> I will hold those down a little bit. See, you still got a little bit of space there. What I like to do is the regular cobra weave. Um, it, it's a nice way to finish the end of the bracelet so it doesn't leave gaps. Uh, basically all that is is just passing one over the top. 
take the second one over the top of that underneath and through up from the bottom on the other side. And I will make sure that that tightens over the top of that whole point there. And I've got room for one more, which is perfect. Same thing, starting with the other side over the top. This goes over that one, around the back, up through the bottom. Tie it down. So the last one will be look just like that, but it actually fits pretty well with the bracelet. So. After that, what I would normally do, and what I will do this time, is I will snip these, I will melt them there, I will bring these in with the fin, trusty fin again, and I will push this down underneath just the ones that I did with the uh, with the cobra weave. Um, it's a lot harder to get them underneath those. I mean, you can try it if you like. Um, it works out either way, but pull that down through. You can do the same with the other side. You could melt them on the sides here and cut them off if you really want. Um, I don't like to do that. I think it looks kind of sloppy, so I always push them to the back side with the fit. It's just easier. It looks a little sharper, a little cleaner. Straight. Take my fit up here. The best part about it is they all and pretty much in the same spot, so uh, all I need to do now is just shave them down and leave just a little bit so I got something to melt. Don't want to get too close to the bracelet itself. Um, that's when you start burning holes in it. There you go. All four of them. Flex the bracelet back a little bit. Use the blue part of the flame. The very beginning of it actually does a better job than the yellow flame, I think. Get all nice and warm. Make sure that they are all melted up. You can use the back of your scissor, you can use anything metal, anything cold, flat, something that's not going to burn. Just stick those down. Melt it down. And you have yourself the belly bracelet. Snake belly bracelet.